Is this a foreshadowing of an opposition tandem in 2022? Vice President Lenny Robredo and Manila City Mayor Isko Moreno doing an elbow bump, enjoying a chat, and doing selfies. They were at the CCP complex on Tuesday for the Office of the Vice President's Vaccine Express Project, inoculating economic frontliners like tricycle drivers and delivery riders. Nagpapasalamat kami sa Office of the Vice President, Vice President Lenny, at sa mga staff nila. Ito talaga, idea nila to na mag-create ng additional effort to help local government units like City of Manila. And we are very grateful with all the logistics given to us by the Office of the Vice President. We are so grateful to the City of Manila. So is this the start of a Robredo-Moreno tandem, considering that both their names are making noise as possible standard bearers? Hindi natin alam. Maybe I'll retire, she'll retire. Uh, that is a uh, masyadong far-fetch. No? Dahil what matters most today is yung pandemic. Nakakakalaka na yung nilalapitan ng LGU, hindi 2032 yung pandemic. Kasi yung pandemic naman, walang politika ng mga doon. But for the Liberal Party, the goal is to come up with a solid ticket under a broad coalition. This may or may not be led by Robredo. Yung pagkakaisa na yun ang mahalaga. And in fact, she said she is willing you know, to go all out in uniting the opposition around one candidate. Uh, uh, and it doesn't have to be her. Other names that figured in the LP's list are Senator Sping Lacson, Nancy Binay, Joel Villanueva, and Mayor Isko Moreno. Lacson said he would need to discuss the matter with Senate President Tito Soto, who is planning to be his running mate. Senator Villanueva is also open to the idea of uniting with the opposition. It is always good to march with a lot of good people. For Senator Nancy Binay, some wounds caused by politics need to heal first. For now, the Liberal Party believes they will benefit from the growing rift within ruling party PDP Laban. But as to whether this means adopting Senator Manny Pacquiao should he detach from PDP Laban, the party leader had this to say. Sabi ko nga, basta sincero na nagahanap ng solusyon sa pinakamatinding krisis na hinaharap ng ating bansa, di ba? bukas tayong makipag-usap. Reporting for News 5, Mayan Los Baños, we are One News.